This is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boston Rhymes. And I know some of you that work for news media outlets here in Georgia, the United States of America, or just maybe Ontario, Canada. You may say to me, Rhymes, we've been hearing you on the YouTube channel and your blog since 1994. And you talk about many issues, but you never provide any facts. You talk about the meeting in Brooks County, and you say you have facts. You talk about the 105 vehicle motorcade from Hayhara to Folsom Bridge, where Mary Turner was lynched. You talk about the speed trap on Clay Road. You talk about Nigger Branch, and you talk about Cindy Johnson that would drug up and down South Patterson Street, then drug out to Marvin Camp Grounds. You talk about the week of terror when over 500 blacks left South Georgia because of the week of terror in Brooks and Lyons County in May of 1918. You talk about the Secretary of State not coming to Willacoochee when it was alleged that people were paying people to vote for them. You talk about alleged GBI intimidation in Brooks County in dealing with the investigation of the Brooks County 10 plus 2. Or you talk about no picture on the front page of the Valdosta Daily Times when President Barack Obama won his second terms in the White House. Or you talk about when Nelson Mandela is getting national and international attention, but his picture never appeared on the front page of the Valdosta Daily Times. You may talk about, you hear me talk about the 14-year-old girl that was tackled by a sheriff deputy and accused of striking a teacher. And after the teacher provided statements that that never occurred and that the local news media, television, and radio have totally ignored that American citizen, not in Russia, not in China, not in Afghanistan, but right here in the state of Georgia, in the United States of America. That's just a few. So let me, since I've been talking about this the longest, some of you may ask, Ryan, you talk about the jail deaths. Put your cards on the table. Briefly, I want to share with you something that has already been published so many times over. Well, did the press report within the last year or the last two years that in 1994, April the 1st, inmate Willard, Willard McFarland died, black male, 63 years old, in the Lyons County Jail? 1995, October 29th, inmate Willie Lee Gay, black male, 39 years of age. In 1996, May the 1st, inmate N. Sterling, a white Caucasian, age 69. 1998, September the 2nd, inmate Willie James Williams, black male, age 49 years of age. And you not know that in 97, the Honorable Judge Hugh Lawson ruled from that 1989 court order and consent decree filed by lead plaintiff Dorothea Patterson about the 105 violations in the jail that the Honorable Judge Hugh Lawson identified. But do you not know that nothing was published in terms of whoever complied with that court order? And if that court order had been complied with, there's a great possibility that these other people that have died, many who were American veterans, maybe they would not have died. So we wrote the District Attorney David Miller, Judge Hugh Lawson, the second, uh, Sarah Clough, the clerk of the court, and other people about who followed up on that court order and consent decree. 
and we got no response. And so we contend among the righteous that it probably was never corrected because of the clique and those in the slicks don't want it corrected. Briefly, let me get back on track. Willie McFarlane, 94. Willie Lee Gay, 95. Ian Sterling, 96. Willie Jane Williams, 1998. Then July, 2000. Rosia Sonny Graham, age 48, black. July the 20th, Rosemary King, race not given, age 40. 2002, April 7th, inmate Richard William Oakley, white, age 27. August 21st, 2002, inmate Sarah J. Wallace, black, age 39. In 2003, Lisa Sanders, black, age 38. January 25th, 2004, John Henry DeJohn, white, age 49. September 2nd, 2005, inmate Amaru Quinez, Hispanic, age 34. February 16th, 2006, Xavier's Wright, black, age 29. Also the brother of city councilman, James Wright, March 23rd, 2006, inmate Bobby Stanford, Stanford, black, age 55, April 2nd, 2006, Clarence Fender, white, age 70, June 23rd, inmate George Hill Jr., black, age 21, now look, in 2006, we had one, two, three, four people to die in that jail in one year. One, two, yeah, in one year. Yet, nobody seems to care. Four people. The year is not given here. I'm going to give the initials, CJ. The name is withheld because at the family request, but the name is and has been documented. They didn't want it named because he still worked in law enforcement, and they don't want the name identified. Another individual died in the jail, number 17. He worked for the state prison. The family does not want his name released, and we accommodated them. Uh, another inmate named withheld. He's a black male. Name with hell, request of the family. Joseph McFarland. Uh, uh, name, well, well, they wanted, they, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that, but that name didn't supposed to be released, but another inmate not published because of the family request. See, people are really living in fear and they're afraid to speak out for whatever reason, even our form of government. In March 2008, Joel Smith, black, age 20, Number 21, May, no date, Michael W. Dixon, black, age 39. February 2009, family request, name with hell. And on May the 5th, 2005, while some of the citizens were arrested from a city council meeting, inmates while they were in jail, the inmates provided one, two, three, four, five, six other names of individuals that had died, but their name has not been given. The inmates contend that what they did in order to stop increasing the number of deaths, they would either send those people to the hospital or they would send them home, release them, and there they died. I cannot substantiate for those deaths or verify them, rather, but it is what it is. Then on September 26, 2009, black male Nathaniel Sloan, age 42, 
died in the Lowndes County Jail. And I have three more, but this is an old sheet that I have posted on my blog years ago. And so I want you to know that what you hear me say on this channel, it is the truth. I don't play games because it's dealing with the lives of our children and coming generations of children. And so I just want to say to you that we had better wake up or we gonna be back under slavery, not just black folk, but all people. Once again, this is the Ghetto Free Press. I'm George Boston Ryan, doing what I do because you have a right to know. And Jesus said in St. John 8, 32, and ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. Bye bye, we're gone. Power to the people. Pass it on. Stand up for yourselves, your family, and your neighbor's children down the block. Bye bye, we're gone.